Hey guys, Nigel here. Uh, another unboxing video for you. Um, these two arrived today. These are the new undercarriage legs from Scale Aircraft Conversions, part number 72005. And the wheels and tyres from Armoury, ARAW72314. And these are the wheels and tyres for the Valkyrie. They're both for the Valkyrie. Um, these are available from Hannant's, as are these. But this is the company here if you're interested in getting hold of them. I'm not sponsored. This hasn't been provided. I've bought these myself from Hannant's. Um, these are just over £20. These are like just under £20. I think they're about £21 and they're about £17. Um, I wouldn't normally have bought these. Um, because I don't feel they're actually any better than most of the plastic legs you get in most more more modern kits um these certainly don't look to be that much of an improvement over the over the um the stock as you can see i haven't opened the packet yet it's still sealed uh but i've noticed already if you look here you can see these legs here are bent the main front nose gear is bent i've had a quick look online and apparently these can be tweaked and everything cold with no no worry or anything so we'll get those open in a second and compare them to the original parts I want to start off by looking at these. The reason, if you saw my last video, the reason I've bought these is because the kit wheels have a over exaggerated fake flat spot, as you can see here. The there's no tread pattern. The alignment pins put the wheels out of line, and then when you glue them together, you find that one side's bigger than the other anyway. So by the time you've sanded them round and everything to get them to you know to stand up straight you've lost most of the diameter then you have no tread pattern and doing that on 10 wheels and getting them all the same and then having the false um the false flat spot oh and also the detail in the center isn't that good i've got the pe set for it but i've looked online i've seen a pe set fitted to this kit and the wheel parts didn't look as though they fitted very well I'll try some when I do the PE build just to uh, just to show you guys so these are much nicer and from looking at pictures from museums and the, the museum in the state sorry these look a lot more realistic so I pulled the staples out so I can get this open easier I haven't looked at this myself so this is my first time we've got an instruction manual here if you can pull that manual it's one sheet of paper you can see that there so we've basically got um, the same tire part for the front and rear but we have different inner and outer hubs for the front for the front for the nose and the main landing gear and here you can see that it's showing you the the deeper side is the outside so opening the box we've got you're gonna roll away we've got ten tires um, as you can see here, they have the the tread pattern on them, which is which will be so accentuated when you see the silver paint in the tread and the, the black or the tire rubber black on the um, on the worn parts. They also don't have any flat spots, which from what I've seen in the museum looks accurate and from on the videos. Casting quality, there's a small if we look there, you can see there's a small um, part where you can see it's been I can't catch it in the light. The small part was broken off a moulding plug, so obviously that will have to go down, and then obviously that will be sanded when the when the wheels are built. But they all look very nice. Well, there's a, I thought there was all a bubble there. Yeah, there's there's a couple of bubbles in them I've spotted. Um, there's one there. Don't know if you can catch it. There's one there. Look, sort of one o'clock. So yeah. Nothing much home to write home about with those bubbles. There's nothing to worry about. Um, here are the front wheels. So there's the outer on the left, inner on the right. I notice the inner only has a small hole in the centre, so that's much better than the standard wheel. If we look at the standard, if you look at the size of the hole in the standard wheel, I mean, it's massive. And when you put it on the undercarriage leg, it's, well, it's just sloppy as anything. So, um, yeah, that's looking nice. Oh, and also, if we look here, the detail on the nose wheel compared to the um, compared to the kit part, much nicer. It's going to take a wash, lovely. So, 
the rear wheels or the main landing gear wheels come in a bag here we've got one two three four five six seven eight of these let's get a couple of these out let's have a look at these and here are the rear wheels molded the same so you've got the outer and the inner separately very very nice very very clean very cleanly molded and even though they're bagged up it looks like i haven't got any damage on any of the rims either no so those very very thin rim edges haven't been damaged in packaging i guess that's due to their sturdy box they put it in so let's pop those back in that bag in fact i thought i'll leave the front ones out so that's the wheels and tires um much better than the standard kit parts here's the wheel detail for the rear wheels on the kit parts as you can see from what i've just showed you that's not as nice so these undercarriage legs as we can see nose gear here is bent and these down here is bent as i mentioned before so let's get them out and have a look um we're better off cutting this from behind right first this was my main reason for buying these because if you remember in my last video if you look at the the misalignment here on this part when I turn it over the misalignment in the molding is awful and it goes all the way up the undercarriage leg so to sand that out I would end up making the undercarriage leg oval or reducing it so much in diameter it would become even weaker than it already is so here's the parts next to each other that is that just in my imagination or is the scale yeah the scale of cracker is just slightly longer I think is it or not I don't know you can see the detail on there isn't too bad and of course the the other or the one big advantage for me with these metal legs not only are they stronger but this here this would have been the chrome plated hydraulic ram from the from the for the suspension if you like of the of the nose gear so that can be polished like, like chrome and look very realistic um there's a piece of flash there by the look of it and so what they're saying is you can actually bend this straight oh yeah it feels a bit funny when i'm bending it but i must be honest but uh it kind of cracks that's really weird when you bend it kind of you can feel it. it's almost like a a squeaky door hinge when you open the door with an old hinge so there we go that's plus i can do a bit of work later but that's um you can see that's pretty straight now so uh yeah um I mean, i've got lots of photo extra to dress them up i need a lot of clean up on that seam but um yeah that's certainly better than the kit part on the roundness and alignment issue and apparently according to their website all of their landing gear are designed to fit the standard fuselage wheelbase whatever so that's all good and they've replicated the great big chunky axles there i wonder what the kit parts fit them like yeah not too bad they're still quite sloppy as you can see but um that's not necessarily a bad thing if you've got a bit of slop it means you can put all four wheels on and stand it up and all four wheels will touch the ground so um yeah so there's the main landing gear and unlike I'll give you a comparison i've got the wrong side here never mind in fact let's take, let's get the right side or the correct side should i say there we go there's the uh there's the comparison and you can um you can see there the details that you kind of wonder if they've taken a mould off of the original part because that goes on. No, let me round noise. Other side. That goes on like that, as you can see there. So 
Yeah, you kind of wonder if they've just taken the mould off the original plastic parts, but, you know, hey, they, they, these legs are fine. It's just that the fit is bloody terrible, and that Lowe's leg was a waste of time. So, um, yeah, so again here, this needs to be straightened. Just give it a bit of a tweak. Oh, yeah, it just comes out. That's fine. So if you get these legs and they're all bent, don't worry about it, because you can straighten them. Of course, you've got the holes in the um, undercarriage bait to line everything up with. So there we go. That's them. One final little bit which came which ordered as well which isn't Valky related this is B52 related I've got some um, masks from a company called Newwear I've never heard of these before even saying that I have ordered their masks for the B2 and I've had to order them from the States because Hannah's was sold out but I've gone for this set here it says includes canopy interior and window seals mask this is the the uh, the, the top the Rolls Royce one so um we've got the masks here that's how they uh, go, and if you want to have a quick read of that, you can pause it. And then we've got interior masks here that go on. And they're telling you to put them on and then paint the interior colour on the inside. And then you put these on and paint the seal colour. So whether that's pink or grey, whatever. And then you've got the camouflage. You put those masks over the top of the other ones you just put on and then paint the camouflage colour. And then when you remove this and the mask below it, then you end up with the camouflage colour here and the seal colour around the windows. Um, I'll have to see how it goes, it should look quite good actually, but in 70 second scale I should imagine the seal is, uh, is going to be extremely thin and getting these lined up over the other ones is probably going to be a nightmare. But here's the masks for what it's worth trying to show you. Um, there you go. So you get a set of wheel masks as well. Um, and there's the additional set so it looks like if you just buy the if you just buy the original um the bottom end masking set you get this one and then the additional one gives you that one i don't know what they're let's see what they're like how well they're die cut because i've seen some of these decals before and you, the die cutting is just a waste of time nope they peel away beautifully look at that so yeah all in all um, they were seven ninety nine, so not cheap. But uh, I just thought I'll sod it, give them a go. So there we go. Thanks for looking. Um, I'll have more reviews for you coming up, uh, and now I can get back stuck into the Valkyrie and get the uh, photo etch put on all these legs. And I think they're going to look bloody lovely with a coat of paint and a good clean up. And again, the wheels and tires they're going to look amazing with a bit of paint. Bit of weathering a good bit of clean up i think they're going to look stunning so there we go thanks for looking see you again bye bye